Welcome to Root Stem Gaming and today is going to be a bit of a special battle report we're not going to go for any fancy missions we're just going to simply have a dawn of war deployment zone and we're going to kill each other at 2000 points there's going to be two particular armies we might be doing a series with one army because it's quite hilarious and quite amusing but uh, hence to say one of them's imperial guard I'm not going to tell you what the other one is just yet so let's go across, let's meet the guardsman that's due to die. So this is a 2,000 point Imperial Guard force. We've got three different battalions in this. Simply due to the fact that I collected these before we brought out different rules for different figures. Oh well. So we're going to start over here with the Supreme Command. This is the Steel Legion Battalion. We've got two captains and a Commissar Lord. Uh, the captain there with a slightly larger base is going to be the Warlord. I'll sort out the Warlord trait in a moment. And the Relic is going to be... Um, ah, that one where I can issue an order and issue an order again on a 4+. It's pretty much the one I take all the time, if I'm honest. Um, we've got three standard units of Steel Legion Infantry. Two plasma guns, one grenade launcher. All three have rocket launchers in them. And then we've got a unit of Vets. These units of Vets have got three plasma guns. And then we've got a unit of um, Command Squad as well, which has got a rocket launcher. So that's plenty of Ballistic Skill 3 Plus coming up. We've got a Chimera with a multi-laser, last gun array and heavy flamer. Steel Legion um, Chimeras, of course, because these are actually within the Steel Legions. Anything with a minus one is ignored. So I don't, you don't suffer the minus. If it's anything greater than a minus one, like a minus two, minus three, minus four, that's fine. But the Steel Legion make their stuff to make sure there's no outside toxic atmosphere that can get in. Same goes for the Sentinels. We've got three armoured Sentinels, all armed with heavy flamers. And they're backed up by a tiny unit of uh, heavy bolter team. That's just going to be laying down some suppressive fire. Second Battalion is Vakadians. So I do like collecting armies. That should be disappearing from 40k quite soon. You know, Cadians, their home world's pretty much gone. And Steel Legion's home world's pretty much gone as well. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I did forget to mention I've got a tech priest in that squad. Right, so in here, we've got your standard two captains. One with a plasma pistol, one with a power fist and chainsword. We've got your, we've got a command squad with two last cannons and it, two last cannons, two snipers. Wish there were last cannons. Two snipers and a medic. These are backed up by three troop choices. So we've got one with a flamer, one with a grenade launcher, and one with a plasma gun, bolt pistol, and power sword on the sergeant. Two veteran squads will be accompanying these. With this unit here has got a grenade launcher and two plasma guns. And this unit here has got two multi-melters and a heavy flamer. All units with uh, comm links will have comm links in the game, so the Steel Legion don't have any comms. I am backed up by a Turos Venerator from Forge World. This is a pretty decent unit. Uh, if I make sure that I move more than five, it's got a five up in vulnerable save. Uh, twin Laz and two HKMs. Then we've got two Lehman Russ battle tanks. We've got a Lehman Russ Executioner with the plasma cannon and a plasma cannon in its Executioner plasma cannon. And a plasma gun in the front with two heavy flame responsons. We've then got a battle cannon, standard Lehman Russ. Normally, I would have equipped this with heavy. Uh, I've, I've actually done this. I've equipped this with heavy bolters, last cannon, and battle cannon. Your standard Lehman Russ. Lus, uh, that one. Load out. It's got to be done. You can't be cheating on this. And then a battalion of. Stormtroopers, they are not whatever they like to call them in the Imperial Guard Codex, they are Stormtroopers. So, we've got the Prime uh, with a plasma pistol and a power fist. He's accompanied by another Commissar Lord with a plasma pistol and power sword. They're backed up by a command squad which has a plasma gun, a medic, a comm link, and of course it's got the, I think it's hot shot, it's some form of hot shot volley gun I think. Um, a unit of five stormtroopers, I'm going to keep saying that, with a uh, power sword and a plasma gun. Another unit of five stormtroopers with a plasma gun. And then a unit of ten stormtroopers. Yes, I hate that new word for them. Uh, these guys have got two melter guns and the sergeant used to have a power maul because you used to be able to give them a power maul in the old game. He's not got a power maul now, it's basically going to be another power sword. 
So that is your Imperial Guard. I will figure out my Warlord trait in a moment, but like I say, I've got the uh, Relic that allows me to issue two orders to the same squad in the same turn. Right, let's take you over to my opponent. So today's opponent is a regular, Mr. Grange. Hi there. What are you rocking today, Mr. Grange? My new army. Your new army? It, it's one of oh, those. Oh, is it it's one tenid. of those? Is it yeah. tenid? It's High Fleet Gorgon. High Fleet Gorgon. So you want to have a look at it? Yeah, let's have a look at it, Mr. Grange. Um, it's all gene stealers. <laughs> There's 103 gene stealers <laughs> and three broodlords. That's it. <laughs> 2, points, just shy of 2,000 points. What psychic powers have I got? Um, not sure, are you? I don't no. know. I, I, I took the I took the basically cellophane off of this book about four minutes ago. I have genuinely no idea what to do. I will put it up on the screen. What warlord trait? Oh, the warlord and trait. Power. I'm taking the gorgon specific one. Oh which right, is okay. Lethal miasma. All right, what does that do? Uh, end of a fight. End of the turn. Any uh, un enemy unit within one inch of my warlord, which is this gent here. Yeah. Uh, on a four up takes a mortal wound. Oh. And for psychic powers. Yeah. These two, I've uh, got Smite and the Horror. Okay. And he's got Catalyst and Smite. Ah, right, the Horror. Ah, okay. uh, so I will actually take you through it. So as you can see, <laughs> we have one battalion. Yeah. Three HQs. Yeah. Uh, six six troop choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five units of 17 Gene Stealers. Yeah. One unit of 18 Gene Stealers. <laughs> yeah. They all have uh, Toxin Sacks. Okay. They all have Toxin Sacks, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, as a as a side note, we are going to be testing this army against other things. So today it's going to be against guard. Then we're going to test it out against some knights because someone in uh, Granger's local games workshop actually uh, got very excited regarding this particular army. So we've decided we're going to pit it against lots of different things, regardless of whether or not it wins or loses. This is the most thematic army I've seen in a long time, and the only reason he's only got three broodlords is because. Technically, when a 2,000 point army, you can only take three at the same type of unit, so you yeah. can't take any more. <laughs> I, have, I, I have bought a fourth broodlord. <laughs> I, made, I made the army list in my head and bought a fourth broodlord and then realised I couldn't play it. So. Well, I think in 2,500 point games, which means more gene stealers... I don't you... want to pick any more gene stealers, Fran. <laughs> You've got no idea. But if I have to remove any more mold lines from gene stealers, I swear to God, I'm going to... Raid wherever they make gene stealers and this, slap the mold maker. Th this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. It's not. He's not using the rules from. Um, yeah, he's not. <laughs> I'm not using rules from. He's not using rules. Um, I don't know them. Yeah, he's gone for a tyranid codex, so he's not going to be able to infiltrate up like a lot of the uh, other guys can from the gene stealer cult codex. But this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very. Very interesting. And for those paying attention, my Warlord trait was Grand Strategist, allowing me basically to issue another order with my commander. Right. Granger's on this side. I'm on this side. 12-inch Donor War deployment. Let's go. Right, Granger's set up as far forward as he possibly can be. We've got Broodlords and Gene Stealers. Yep, that's it. Broodlords and gene stealers. That's all he has. Now, <laughs> my guys have tried to go as far back as they possibly can. Would you, would you like a bigger table, from? I think I might do. I'm, I'm, I'd love to be hammer and anvil because I would have deployed in the last six inch of <laughs> <laughs> that zone. Bunched up as best I can and just gone, Mammy! Yeah, we've got some Steel Legion and Cadian units mixed up. Inside the Chimera is my veterans with one of the captains for the Steel Legion. Plenty of Commissar Lords knocking up and down to try and make sure I don't lose my morale. All the st all the Stormtroopers, they, oh, excuse me, they are in reserve. So they will be deep striking down to be able to try and take out some of this menace. Now, obviously, Grange deployed first. So we'll let Grange roll to see if he gets first turn. So plus one to this dice roll, sir. He gets a four. It makes it a five. I get a six. In a strange twerk of fate, I'm letting Grange go first. What? Yes, I am. I'm going to let Grange go first because I think it might be, uh, I don't know. My brain's not thinking of tactics. I'm just thinking stuff. <laughs> Are you thinking of trying to bring me into as many 24-inch ranges as possible? Possibly, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
hopefully not like a turn two charge. I might be able to get away with it. But go on then, sir. Right. Right. We'll uh, do Granger's movement phase. We'll come back to him in his psychic phase, and then we'll forget completely about his shooting phase because he hasn't got one. Right. Turn one. Right. So Granger's done his movement. This unit here has used a uh, strategy that allows him to move. Metabolic override? Yeah. He lost three guys because he has to roll a d6, but he's not allowed to charge if he does it. So he's basically just done it to try and get them as close as physically possible. He, we're on to his psychic phase. Normally I go through psychic phases and just explain them, but in this instance we have no shooting from this army. So what are you going to strike the first, sir? So a catalyst. Yeah. I'm going to go into that unit there. Does that allow them to move and charge it? Move no, no, no. It basically gives them a five up feel no pain. Ah, right. No problem. So go ahead then, sir. On a six. On a six. I can't stop you. Yeah. So. And then this chap here is yeah. going to put the horror onto that unit of guardsmen. Onto this unit of guardsmen here. Yeah. No problem then, sir. And I believe that's passed with a six. It has indeed. It has. So they are now horrid. Oh dear. Right. Uh, I'll move on to the shooting phase. Great! Any charges? Um, I don't think we'll be bet. anything. I bet. Well, we will check. We will check because I've set up so far back. We don't think. Table. Yeah, I nearly <laughs> set up a different table. I don't think he's got the ability to be able to charge me, but we're going to check. Yes, uh, we've checked. Grange is not within twelve inch of anyone. I've marked their uh, the horror with a jam counter. Yay! From second edition forty k. That's probably all of the majority of people watching this program. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, I am now going to take my turn. Uh, just to make people aware, we forgot to mention it at the beginning. At the moment, we are not playing any beta rules. We only play the beta rules if they get shown up officially in the chapter approved now. So, at the moment, we're not playing any beta rules. So, let's crack on. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I have moved some units forward. There is reasons to my madness, but I'm not going to be explaining them here. We're using the old school Epic 40,000 order dice to represent my orders because it's easier to record if I issue all my orders straight away rather than doing one at a time. So they've got first rank fire, second rank fire, and they've also got three roll ones because of his relic. Um, consolidate squads is also in effect, so all of that unit is one unit. We roll ones again on these. Hit mobile command vehicle. They can now still shoot because they ran forward, but they can now still shoot. Hopefully, shooting these guys here. These are on first rank fire, second rank fire. These are on first rank fire, second rank fire. These are on first rank fire, second rank fire. And these are on first rank fire, second rank fire. I've got a lot of first rank fire, second rank fire. A lot of the infantry's moved forward. I'm hoping just to try and slow him down a little bit. Right, let's open fire. So we've started with a little bit of the piddly stuff. This unit's open fire with a rocket into them. Didn't really do much. These guys open fire with their heavy bolters. Killed about two of those guys. And this veteran squad here open fire at that unit there. And killed another two. Another two, yeah, pal. Another two. Right, so this unit, sorry, this unit has counted up. We've got about 20 large gun shots hitting these guys here. Grange has pointed out that he is in cover, which he is. So it means that I'm going to be hitting him on fours, fives, and he's going to get a four up armor. The Mechanicus dice is for the plasma gun. Ooh. Not bad. Fives to wound. I have kept him laid down because he keeps moving. One, two, three of them. 50-50 chance of success. He saved them all. This is not going to look good. Right, so these, these guys next. We've measured. All of them are in rapid. They've all got first rank fire, second rank fire. I've rolled a D6 extra for the grenade. Bearing in mind that these are minus one to hit. So I'm going to need fives. Ooh. Fives to wound. We've got another two against the guys. They've got a four up armor. One goes down. One goes down. That's not enough, guys. Come on. Come on, guardsmen. Come on. So these guys down here, these two couldn't see that squad there that I'm trying to fire at. So they fired at those over in the crate and didn't do any wounds because he saved it. So the rest of them are opening fire into these here. Force to hit. 
Five's the move. That's better. We've got one, two, three, four, five this time round. And Grange has got fives to save. Just yep. He loses another three from that squad. Catalyst. Oh, yep. Oh, so you one. git! One. <laughs> ah. So, multi laser has fired into those guys and not done anything. The rocket from here fired into those guys, didn't do anything. So now we've got the las guns. I'll do the plasma gun in a moment. These guys needing fours. Fives to wound. Ooh, Ooh. that's better. That's four. Oh. What? That's uh. better. We've got five, six, seven. We've got nine wounds on that unit from the Steel Legion. The Steel Legion running forward, showing the Cadians what you're supposed to do. This depends on... They definitely show the Cadians what they need to do. That's eight of them. That's eight down. Oh, they chew that unit up. Right. I'm having to get Grange to record this because there's that many shots. This unit is opening fire on them. We've rolled for the grenade. We've got two. And this <laughs> 12 guys needing fours to hit, re-rolling ones. Have I got any ones? Yes, I have. I've got a few rare. Right, we'll pick these up. Yep. So this is hits, and now we need fives to wound. Oh, that don't look as good. That don't look as good at all, the agree. Depends on whose perspective. One, <laughs> two, three, four. So eight wounds, they are not all in cover. So he's going to need fives and sixes. Oh, that's quite... That's, that's One, a good... Two, just four. Three, four. So that's he only good. lost four guys. It's not as good as what I wanted there, to be honest. Then we've got a plasma. One hit. No wounds because I didn't declare overcharge. I've got one moving rocket and one standing still. So the one standing still will be a Mechanicus dice. Four and three. So fours on Mechanicus, fives on the others. Rerolling the ones. And these need fours. But this time round he will get his plus one to his save. Didn't matter. Nope. Lost another. Not bad going. They're still large units, but I've managed to whittle some of them down. Right, big guns never tire. Let's open fire with these guys. Right, so this lad's opening fire on them there. I rolled for my battle cannon, got a double one, and then the command pointed one of the dice and got an extra one. So I got three shots. Yay! Yay! Needing fours, re rolling ones for Cadians. Only one hit, two's to wound. That's one wound so far, sir. No. Bolters in the last kind of opening up. Not bad. Got about five of bolter bits there. That was pretty decent. Needing freeze. We've got four. So another four saves on that Gene Stealer squad. Right. Where do you like? There you go. So that's another three of them gone down. And then this guy here, he's going to pour fire into that Gene Stealer squad over there. D6 for the main turret weapon and a D3. Their D6s, of course. I'll just reroll that for being cocked. That's a 1. So that's going to be 12 plasma gun shots. Yeah, I'm not overcharging. 12 shots then. Rerolling the 1s. Hmm. 6 hits, knee and freeze. Uh, and we got another 4. So another 4 on the furthest squad, sir. Okay. Three more. more. I'm still not doing what I need to do here. There's not a lot of death happening. Not a lot of death at all. So, take those orders off. That's me done. I'm not charging. What? No, no. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm not. Um, and that will come off this turn because of course it's the beginning of your turn so we're going to go into gene stealers turn two and let's see what they can bring to the table grange has moved forward this unit here he has ran with them all has got to here those guys actually only rolled a one for their advance they're a little bit skeptical they were like we had a lot of us now there's only three of us left that was pretty devastating then you got these 
these guys have all went forward with these guys and if you look there is nothing within the first 24 inches of Granger's table edge pack the table up oh Jesus right <laughs> go on then sir mm. right we'll start psychic with phase the psychic phase uh, who's going first this last chap yep yep what's he doing I am going to put catalyst yep on this unit here no problem sir you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you come on pointing one of those dice. Um, it is a six. You would need a four at least on the two. On that, yeah, you need a four. You need to get a four plus on that one dice that you've rolled there. No, I'm okay for now. Nope. No, okay for now. Next one. Uh, these. Yep. I'm going to horrify yep. the tank. Uh, it's going to be your battle tank. This one? Yes. And you can see that one yet? Yeah, you can actually. Yeah, I can see that. So... Yep, got it with a knife. He does horrify the Lehman Russ battle tank. Uh, Damn and it. Then, and then this one here. Smite from him. So smite from one. here, which will be into this squad here, because it's pretty much the only one I can see. And he's perils! Now I'm going to use a command point. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so Grange is down to five command points. I currently have six, 12, 14 left. So that was Just a one. That was a one. And a... And a three. So, so he doesn't failed. cast his smite, but he doesn't get a perils of the war. Oh, nasty head. And this thing gets the jam token. Look at that. Right jam, 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 jam. Right. Shooting phase. There isn't one. Hey. So what we're going to do, we're basically going to do the overwatch off camera because there's going to be that much we of the damn stuff. We're genuinely. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to bring you back into fighting. So Granger's made it in. He has lost a few guys from Overwatch. Not as many as I'd liked. I did use Grenadiers and got 61 shots into them and killed one guy. So, <laughs> we did well. We did really well. Um, all the way down here, we've just got Gene Steelers pushing in. Thankfully, I've moved my guys forward to try and create a blocking screen. So, I'm hoping that he can't push through. That is the plan, at least. Right then, sir. Right, so we'll start down here. We're going to start with this Gene Steeler oh, unit here. One, two, three, four. And he gets to five, consolidate six, seven, in. Yes. Which majority of these guys are already in there. If I can just pile around. So, 21 attacks. 21 attacks. Hang on, Re rolling, Yep, yeah, and re rolling ones because of Gorgon. Not Gorgon's wounds. Oh, wounds, sorry. Yeah. Wow. So, every single one of them. All of them, mate. And wounding on threes, yep. rolling ones. That's a lot. And the sixes cause two damage, don't they? And they're minus four. Yep. Okay. So are you applying? Because I always ask this question: Are you applying the sixes first or second? I'll apply them second. Okay. So take away your twos, then, sir. Two ones. Right. One, two, three, four. Uh, don't pick up your sixes. That's You've just picked one. up a six. Uh, <laughs> I'm new to this frog. So, yeah, pick up your non sixes, tell me how many, and then I will then roll that many saves. Ten. Ten normal saves. It's a minus one, we've got that silly steel legion monarchy. Yeah, no, not on the infantry, it's only on the tanks. Oh, is it? All right. But the save of a guardsman is five. Plus, you should know this, Grange. You so have that's... the largest guard army I know. <laughs> so, I need sixes. And I save four of them. That's disappointing. Wow, them helmets are definitely hard as nails. So I lose six normal, and then we've got those to apply. Yes. Right. So we've done the injuries. I've lost 11 guys out of that squad. Moving over here, I spent two command points, tried to fight, did nothing. Grange is now fighting with this unit, and this unit has now got 60 odd attacks. Right. Oh, that's just good. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to look good. Right, so so far we've swept across here. These guys. Because I've managed to get into the tank, but we consolidated and I had to move up because all that infantry died. 60 other attacks from these, 60 other attacks from them. Wipes them out. We're now moving on to this lot. So we thought we'd best record something for you guys to watch because it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there seems to not be a lot, uh, lot of guard left. They are getting chowed to pieces. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So another 60 attacks. Granger's got 30 in his hand. We'll do them 30 at a time. He needs... Um, two to hit because of the Broodlord. So I get rid of these ones. Yep. So one there. Roll them again. Right. 
show you how we've been, how we've been doing it so far, because uh, 60 dice is a lot of dice, especially when you've got the 16 mil versions. So, oh! So, sixes, so oh my word. And then re-rolling one's cost of the Gorgon. Yep. Another six. six. So that's how many sixes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And we're gonna roll five dice. They're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That squad has gone. Now he's got 44 attacks down here because there's only 11 left in that squad. So we're gonna do again another 30. And then if they don't kill them all, we'll do another 11. But it should be. Unless it's fluff this and gets a lot of ones. Maybe not. Oh, I don't think he got. Oh. oh, there's a couple in the middle. Yeah, there. There's one there. Yep. There we are, yep, yep. Go on and insert. Roll threes. Rerolling ones. Right, what I'm going to do is to remove your sixes. So that they're here straight away for you. Look. There we go. So we've got six dead already. We'll get these ones. Yep. Of which there are plenty. Yeah, this time round. We've got and another three. three sixes. So that's nine. And, and uh, look. They die. Uh, oh dear another squad down so the brood lord over here now uh they've consolidated up so how i've managed to do it is make sure that pretty much the only unit that could consolidate in which was them which actually surprised me a little and that's it yeah so i've not done too bad there right now it's the brood lord on the unit that lost 11. so one miss yep uh strength is six he's going to need twos uh monstrous um, ending claws but yep re-roll so we've got one six which will kill and then and then the other two will go straight through so the six kills so that will be that one there and then the other two uh, will also three. kill them two there so i've still got my heavy weapon teams and i've still got my sergeants so they're gonna fight back so the brutal line has hit but thankfully it's hit far enough away for my other units to basically be successful these guys have spent two command points to rally <laughs> automatically because otherwise they would have all been gone <laughs> so they've rallied they're still locked in combat with those guys there and now we've got the daunting task of taking on this mighty mighty horde although figure count wise it looks very similar <laughs> and yes those guys are coming in this turn So a little synopsis, these guys have fallen back, I've managed to issue two orders, get back in the fight and re-roll ones. These guys have got re-roll ones and have also got bring it down, which will mean a re-roll ones to wound. These guys have got out, I've played a command point for armoured fist, which means they get to re-roll ones, they're a veteran team, and I've given them first rank fire, second rank fire. These guys have got first have got um re-roll ones to hit, because they have to move forward. These Cadians are already re-rolling ones because of Cadians, so I've given them first rank fire, second rank fire. And then, of course, the Sentinels have shifted forward. These guys over here spend another command point, so that leaves me down to seven. He's going to issue first rank fire, second rank fire, and first rank fire, second rank fire onto both of those two units. And yes, he is the closest guy. And this second unit of Stormtroopers are also within close range of this Broodlord. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to need fives to wound him, but I need fives to wound his little smaller kin as well. And my plasma guns are within half range. Now, the Stormtrooper's special rule is that if we're within half range of the weapons, any sixes they get to hit, unmodified, is an extra shot. So hopefully, I should be able to kill some broodlords here. And of course, this thing trundled forward and went, hello. <laughs> 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 I'm really close to you. So, yeah, we've got a lot of guys that's getting a lot closer to a lot of everything else. Right, so I've got to do my orders ones first. So I'm going to start off with these. We're going to do two frag rockets and overmoved and two frag grenades. So the frag rockets first. So one frag grenade. So it's three shots from the frag rockets. One, one hit, needing fives. No wounds. So one grenade is two shots. That was going to be a six. <laughs> um... They're re-rolling once, so they've hit twice. This is against the Gene Stealers. No wounds. Oh, it's not looking good already. So I've fired with this lot. They caused a casualty on there. The two last guns have opened up. The rocket is actually closer to that one than anything else. So it's going to fire at him. So I need a three. 
and I need a free. <sighs> Ain't my day today. Snipers are going to have a go. Might as well. Two hits. One wound. Ooh, I don't know where his armor is. Four. Four, and his class has been in cover, so it's saved. Chuffing typical. Right, this thing then is going to fire both last cannons and both rockets into him. Rockets represented by root stem dice. Ooh, one hit upon each. One wound from the root stem dice. It's a minus of two. So you're going to need your invulnerables. Or oh, you fight well, both same. Yeah. Cover it or invulnerable. Go on in, sir. Falls. No, do you want to re-roll? It's D6 damage. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna do it. So one, and yep. are we gonna? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God's <laughs> sake. Right. So after that, shambles. Right, these guys. I'm using grenadiers. Nine of them. So the melter guns are not firing. The heavy flamer will be firing, but the melter guns are just gonna use a grenade. So that's nine of them. Chucking grenades into these because he's got a couple of guys out of cover. He's not gonna get his cover save against these grenades for the moment. That's why I'm firing them first. Ooh, a lot of shots. 32 attacks. Needing freeze. Re-rolling ones. Ooh. The ones re-roll. Oh, they've turned into a lot of hits. Needing fives again. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Eleven wounds. I've got a heavy flamer to go after that. So 11 wounds. Oh, he's losing his dice. And he's out of cover at the moment, so it's fives. Ooh! Three. You saved that one. Five, six, seven, eight. Ow! Heavy flamer coming in. Three auto hits, needing threes. That's another three needing fives, sir. Because even where you're getting the plus one. The uh, heavy flamer will knock it down one. Oh, so many. Another three, another the heavy flamer. Another That's three. another three. Oh, that's chewed them up. And now, steel agent time. So these guys, actually, yeah, I'm going to overcharge. Uh, no, I'm not going to overcharge the plasma. They're going to fire into the remains of that squad there. Needing freeze, re-rolling ones because of the only two. The command I spent earlier. It's not bad, actually. Of all the plasmas, probably would have been hitting, would have been better. Steel Legion have got a rapid fire range of 18 inches. That's coming in handy. Big it up. <laughs> Needing fives. I know that was a five, but and that needs a three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's actually seven wounds needing four plus, and one wound needing five plus. Seven. So he loses another two, two. and then the plasma. Yeah, and loses three. another one, that's three. He's down to one guy left in that squad. <laughs> oh dear. Plasma pistol from the captain. He hits. He wounds. It's a five up in Vaughn. He saves. Oh. Oh, that's naughty. That's naughty. There's a lot of gene stealers dying this turn yeah, round yeah. in the second uh, overcharge of this. Yes. <laughs> Some heavy bolters yet to go yet. But let's fire this. So I managed to make two go down to the heavy bolters and last cannon. Then we've got the baffle cannon. That unleashes seven shots. He does need fives. I'm re rolling ones. We've got four hits. Needing twos. Got four wounds. Got Three, three kills. Ooh. Looking good so far. I'm going to move on to the second Luminos. So, I'm going to do the heavy flamers with the sentinel heavy flamers. Because I'm going to basically put all five heavy flamers into this one unit here. So this is going to fire its plasma and its, plasma, its executioner plasma and its normal plasma into these guys. The executioner plasma is in Mechanicus. So that's a three, so that's two. So that's going to be five. Another seven shots. Seven shots. Needing fours. 
And two wounds. Range need fives to save. Nada. Another two out of that unit go down. So basically five heavy flamers into these guys here. Ooh. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 automatic hits. Threes to wound. So that's five. 10, 12. Mm, that was actually not as good as what I thought that, to be honest. But it is an invulnerable save of five, because even if he's in cover, heavy but flame is a minus one. 12 of them, sorry. 12 of them, sir. Ooh, save one, four. Two, three, four, so that's eight of them gone. Eight of them down by heavy flame of death. First rank fire plus the grenade and the pistol. Needing three to hit, you roll in the ones. That was a one. Oh, I didn't convert a lot of them. Mm. We've got one, two, three, four. So another four saves on that one squad. Lose another three. And then we've got two plasmas. We're rolling the ones. Three hits. Three, another three wounds from the plasma guns. Another three of them. Another three of them. Ooh. He's taking a chewing. He's taking a definite... Well, yeah. Definitely taking some hits. Definitely taking some hits. Right. <laughs> Heavy bolters. Heavy bolter teams firing into these guys. Lean fours. Not too bad. Lean threes. So that's another four of them, needing fives. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. Three of them, so that's another, another three. three of these guys gone. And we just pointed out to Grange, if he and he goes, it's going to be some massive morale test to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he is losing a lot, but if we do actually talk about it properly, he is losing a lot, but it's gene stealers. So if I do wade into the units, he can still pretty much murder all of my squads. Especially them broodlords. Right, speaking of broodlords, let's take them out. So the first unit is this one here, with first rank fire, second rank fire. That's going to pour fire into him. And I am overcharging the plasma gun. I've hit, so the plasma gun does hit with a six. So the plasma gun gets an extra shot. The others won't because they're not within nine. They need to be nine inches because they're... And he kills himself with the extra shot. Oh well, never mind. He freeze to hit. Fives and threes. So that one, f uh, command point it. Ah, never mind. So I'm down to six command points left. Now, all of these are a minus, so he's going to have to use his invulnerable. Uh, and that's two damage. So it's up to you which one you do first here, sir. Uh, yeah, duck plasma first. Plasma yep. first. Saved. Saved it. Typical. And then the other two shots. Save those oh, ones. Christ. Here we go. Rinse the feet. Second squad doing the same thing. Uh, no hits, no sixes to hit with the plasma this time. Right. So that's one at two, and then another four at one. Start with the plasma. Yep. Save. And... I've just mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, every time I play Grange when he needs five to, to save on camera, he does it. Go on. See another two there. What are the odds of rolling three five pluses? So he's lost two wounds. Damn it. So the command squad's now going to open fire into this guy. I actually thought I was going to get a better result than this. Maybe missed because the it's the hell blaster. Right. So that's one normal wound and one with two wounds. Normal wound. Two wounds. No. Yay! Loses three wounds. He's down to one wound remaining. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'm in a plasma pistol range. No, I am not. Right. These guys. They're going to fight over this one. Right. So a bolter. Seven normal hell guns and two melters into this guy. And I know what's going to happen here. I knew one at melters. A goddamn miss. 
<laughs> right, so the melter has wounded. That's important. And the hell guns, two of them have wounded. And that's it. Melter. melter. On through. Do you want the command point? Uh, yeah, not there, one. it's alright at this stage. Four wounds gone. And the other two. Through as well, so that's another one down to one. Six wounds. Oh yeah. It's gone. Oh yes it is, yes I've killed one! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> right. <laughs> Successful, well done lads, mission accomplished, you guys, idiots, what are you doing? <laughs> it's going to like rapid regenerate and get wounds back and all sorts next. Right, this is where I'm like, what do I do now? I think it's my turn to charge and I am going to do some charging. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, you could wipe units out. Could wipe units out, so I think I am going to do some charging, which will be quite hilarious. Hilarious! And depending of course upon what he does next. Right. Charges. So these guys have charged in here. Commissar and commander's also gone into the remaining four. We've checked. These are not within 12 inch sound at range, so we're going to have to take a morale test because I've murdered that one. Um, I've charged that single lone body on its own. These have charged into these here, and this lot's left them alone. Possibly to try and get some overwatch on them. See what happens. So this squad I am going with first. The Mechanica Stasis for the Power Fist on the Sergeant, but it does need fives to hit with that, which is a bit of a bum. I bet I'm not going to kill these. Need mm -mm. fives. Uh, two wounds. And we'll get... Two, two fails. Points. Are you interrupting, sir? Mm, yeah. No. Nope. No, you're fine. So... I'll do the commissar and the captain down there, together, if you're not going to interrupt. And the commissar needs twos, captain needs threes. And again, they need fives to wound, they don't do anything, which is a bad sign. But, again, they're going to suffer from morale. These, and then these. Right, so, thinking that the combat was going to be quite one-sided, yes, he, they murdered him. But, they didn't do anything, and then lost four of their own men, so they've got a morale check to make. And then... They didn't do anything. Thankfully, he attacked the captain and commissar, which took wounds. But, they, well, they killed two. Um, so, yeah, I've got a morale test to make on these. And you have a morale test to make on them and them. And I'm not quite sure, unless you want to spend two command points to auto-pass. Uh, they're fine. Four, five, six. They're okay. I'll spend two command points. So, they've auto-passed. I think, I they've think, they've, I think Yeah, I think so they're going to go I, anyway. Yeah, they're going to go. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go. They've gone, and then everything else is fine. They are still within twelve inch of him, so no morale test to take. Right. So the wave has hit. It murdered a lot of guardsmen, but I've got plenty of guardsmen to go at. And the second wave of guardsmen, all veterans, all knew what they were doing. I'm sending the squiddly little peeps first. What's this? New recruits? You can go first. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's down to two command points. Now we're going to go on to turn three. Um, so it's now going to be Granger's turn. Right, Granger's moved forward. That's all that's left of this unit here. His two wound beastie managed to get all the way down here. He's probably going to try and take on a tank. Yes! No longer jammed. And these guys have shifted up. Stayed still, of course. But I don't think they can break out, personally. And then these guys have just like gone, yeah, we're going to try and finish this massive mob off. Surprisingly, they've lasted longer than what I thought they were going to. Right then, sir. Psychic phase, because you don't have a shooting phase, yep. so there's no point not recording that. Right, fair enough. <laughs> Start with this guy. This one, yeah. He's going to put the horror into that unit there. Oh, right, okay. He's not. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> He's got no... Also, he used rapid regeneration. Yes. Two command points to get one wound back on that. Massively successful. So, uh, yeah. He's got no command points left as Grange. This might not end well. Oh, no, no, no. Your next one? Uh, catalyst. Yep. From the Rude Lord onto the uh, unit to the left. Okay. Yep. Yep, got it. What does that do? Oh, five up, in, five, yeah, up five, yeah, five up. Yeah, yeah. Five up, five up. Right. So, right then, sir. Duty so, phase is done. <laughs> right. <laughs> We'll get some Overwatch done. If we think it's going to be entertaining to watch, we'll show you guys the Overwatch. 
I don't think it will be. But, <laughs> <laughs> but right, okay. Right, so the brood is gonna go into the tank first. So I'm gonna do this. This is the heavy bolters and the last cannon. And I'm gonna play defensive gunners. Ooh, starting inks. So how many that's one command point. Fives and sixes. So I don't get anything with the last cannon. I do get a wound with the heavy bolter. Oh no. Yep, I do. And he doesn't save because it's minus one, he's down to one wound. D6 shots. One Ooh. shot. He hits with the battle <laughs> cannon. He wounds with the battle cannon. He doesn't kill him. Oh, oh no! No, no, no! And Grange did play uh, four inches, so he's basically just going to wade straight into oh, that. No, 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 he's gonna no. He's going to go around that side. More this way. More that way. More that Radio. way. He's not going to kill it, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a one. Oh yeah, he's down to one wound left. And these are going to yep. declare a multi-charge. Okay. On that unit. And, and that, that unit. unit. Radio. So, in a surprise twist, he charged the tech priest. <laughs> he charged the tank. The tank did remove one wound from that guy. He charged the captain and the squad. They've done no because they can't do anything. This charged the venator, which did move 10, so I got a 5 up and vulnerable. Ooh. I don't know if that's against range or shooting, no, we'll check. And then this unit got an inch, because of course it was on the terrain, thankfully. It was just within an inch, so all that slot got. He's going to go with this unit first, so he's going to consolidate him, which he's already done. And we're going to be attacking first with this squad. So three of the guys are going to go into the commander. He's got less than ten, so they're only on three attacks apiece. We are still within six of his broodlords. We are hitting on twos. Ooh. And then the wounded on threes, we roll in the ones. So we've got a six. Yep, which I'll do with the separate dice and then. And five. Five normal ones. Five up in one. My turn! <laughs> so I suffer three wounds, which will reduce him down to one. And then, oh, this is an odd D4, it's the opposite way around. Never mind. And then the other three are going against this squad here. Uh, I'm guessing you're going to apply the sixes last mm -hmm. if you do that. So this is the hit, needing twos. Again, needing threes. No sixes so far. Still no sixes, but that's a lot of woundage. Yeah, eight so wounds. That's eight wounds. Uh, minus one. Yep. So eight wounds with the minus one. I didn't get enough sixes. That's one, two, three, four, five, six wounds that's gone through. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six men. That's like Right, so he's murdered them and he's gone forward, kind of. They're all over the shop. Him. I'm gonna interrupt. <gasps> with a Lehman Bus battle tank! Really? He's gonna attack the brood lord <laughs> with one wound left. I do need sixes to hit, but then it's freeze to wound because it's toughness eight, and then you need a four up save. I just think it would be hilarious if I managed to squish him. <laughs> <laughs> it is more of a test game, so. Some of the seriousness has been taken out of it. Oh, I failed. Can we roll any of them from? No, I'm good. In fact, sorry, yeah, go on. Have a go. Oh, I still failed. Heroically surging forward with his tracks and still failing, failing, failing to do anything. So effectively, Grange can go down the line. This one. Uh, I'll, I'll do my brood lord first. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that brood lord. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, go on then, sir. Yes. Six attacks, needing twos. Yep. And then... Toughness. Can't remember. So yes, his strength is five, because we got it wrong earlier. Yeah. And my toughness is five, so he's going to need fours with re-rolls. So he's got two sixes, he needs to keep them to one side. Roll them. So no more sixes. So, I need to check my invulnerable. Right, so the flat three is going to be in the roots and dice. I don't pass any of the root stem, so in actual fact, the vehicle doesn't explode. It just uh, flips over and crushes the crew. Oh dear. And he gets to consolidate three inches. Right, we've done this combat. Managed to knock off two wounds from him and took out about three of those guys. This one is now piling into my tank. So, six attacks. Needing twos. Why is it when you fight with a broodlord, you always, always get one, one... <laughs> So now he needs fives with re-rolls. So he's got a six, 
I'm not going to be able to stop that. And two fives. So the two fives, I need six. My armor needs to stop them. Nope. So that causes three, and they cause D3. So that's six, seven. So he suffers seven wounds out of a 12. So five wounds left. He's going to go with all of these guys into the tank. He's got one, two, three, four, five guys left. Three attacks okay. apiece. He needs twos, but then he needs sixes to wound. So if he does get a six to wound, I can't save it, and it's two damage. So this is this is where it gets. Uh, see, then if you rolled six dice for your boot lord, you'd probably get one or two misses. Reroll the ones. It's a good job. Yeah. Two sixes. That means that the tank is down to one wound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because it's not dead. He can't consolidate that way. He has to come this way because it's the closest. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't even hurt the techie priest. <laughs> I think they're going to die next turn. Yeah. I do think... Oh, these those. guys. So. so six attacks against the veterans. Or are you going to go against the commander? Um, I'm going to no put captain. them all against, the, um, all against the commander. All against the commander. Actually, no. One against commander, one against the unit. Okay. So commander first. Commander. Uh, two hits. You're not within six. No. Two wounds. No saves. So that's another captain down to two. God, these are taking some hits. Go on. One hit against the uh, squad. Wounded. Wounded. They don't save that time. So that's another one of those lads gone. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Right, so Grange has suddenly discovered two gene stealers that forgot to move forward. Now, it's a good job we're not playing in tournament style rules, isn't it? Because, yeah, I'll let him off. Go on. The he wouldn't let me off, though. I'll remember oh, this. Joking, I'll remember you? this. <laughs> oh, look! They really do annihilate it. Hang on. Yeah, they do. Oh. <laughs> Eight wounds. Get a six. No. So the vehicle's gone. Oh, look, I'm going to consolidate into that tank. Yeah, all right, pal. So I've managed to fight back. They took out two more of the Jane Steelers. They've attacked him and knocked a wound off him. Um, they've attacked and not done anything. They've attacked and not done anything. He attacked and, and killed one. Um, I did because he consolidated. I've now attacked with that tank and actually managed to squish one beneath my treads, which I found quite amusing. Right. <laughs> Are we going to go into my turn? <laughs> I can do. I think it will be well, short and we'll, bloody. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into my turn. Let's see what happens. Right, so we're going to have a look to see what happens this turn. I've got a funny feeling. Grange is probably going to lose. Uh, he's probably <laughs> going to lose a lot of guys, and he's nah. going to lose the rest of them. They've ran over there to try and get back into the actual action. These guys have just moved forward again. First rank fire, second rank fire. Get back in the fight. Get back in the fight. Get back in the fight. Didn't manage to cast a second order, and then first rank fire, second rank fire, which I've used a lot of this actual game. I don't normally, but it's been uh, quite useful. So I'm going to start off with this unit here. Two las guns into him, and then a rocket, which will be. And the rocket missed because I do need fives. I've had to move. And no wounds. Two snipers into the same guy. One hit. Uh, no wound. Two las pistols. One hit. Oh, it's caved in, so I get the reroll ones. Nope. And then, yes, so a las pistol did wound him, but he's in cover, so it's free up. Yep. yep. God damn it. Right, these guys are going to try and finish them off. So the last weapons have opened up, managed to take out one. The plasmas are now going to fire. I'm not overcharging, I'm not stupid. And that's five wounds on him, needing five ups. And he has finally gone. Yay! Right. This unit, opening up. I fired the last guns. They've managed to take out one. Then it's two melters. One hit. One wound. This is five. Gone. Oh, and then heavy flamer does. Four hits. Need freeze. Three wounds. 
Again, using fives and another two. So in actual fact, that squad will have gone. Which means that he is now ready for some heavy bolter death. <laughs> which I think they need a bit of, yeah, I'm going to do that. Heavy bolter into him. Force to hit. Oh, that's not that cracking. Force to wound. One wound. Dead. He's dead. <laughs> he gets taken out by the heavy bolter. Chewed up by the heavy. I've never really got no else to fire at. Right, uh, three heavy flamers then into that squad there. That's nine. That's 11 auto hits. 11 auto hits. Needing threes. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Good, sir. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, only oh, only three. Ooh. Only three go down. I'm guessing he's going to take the closest ones off because he wants to try and minimise the amount of range that these guys are going to get. And I've opened fire with the last guns from here on the first rank fire, second rank fire. They've managed to annihilate with seven wounds the last of the Gene Stealers. We're going to call it there. He's got four bodies, five bodies left. Uh, I'm not charging him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's been one of those games that we've done on purpose just to see how well it, it fared and how well certain units did against each other. It's been fun, to be honest. Um... Definitely, we're thinking that scenario-based games will be a lot better to do. I think my tactics of letting him hit that front line and then just being like, right, that front line, take that front line off, and then second line just annihilated him. Uh, that worked quite well, but I did know I was going against a Gene Stealer army. So we might try and see if we can get an unsuspecting player to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> that, might be, that might be quite amusing. That might be quite amusing. Um, but yeah, basically we're going to keep doing this. We're going to see what the Gene Stealer Army, the pure Gene Stealer Army, can take on in future games. I'll fancy um, knights next. Yep, there's been a lot of spe speak about taking on knights. <laughs> that would be quite amusing. Although I don't think that the line of sight blocking terrain will help on that because I think a lot of the knights will just be like, no pal, I can see off of that. <laughs> but I do have knights. And uh, I do have a bit of Mechanicus, so it might have to be... I don't know if it'll have to be a combination army. Uh, because I don't think I've got 2,000 points worth of knights. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that, because we certainly did, even though it was a bit of a drumming. It's one of those games where you've made an army, and you know the army is not designed to win. But you're going to have a go and see what happens all the same, because it's fun. We might even do a bit of uh, told Starship Troopers, you know... Especially some of these guys. These guys are probably known as Rico's Roughnecks. <laughs> oh, oh, it used to be Rat. Is it Rat Chat? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Raw Chat? Raw Chat? Oh, I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. If you're seeing this on YouTube, there will be a lot more content currently up on um, my website, which is rootstem.co.uk. And for £3 a month, you can get early access to any of my videos, except for news, of course. I can't pre predict that. But you can uh, get access to any of my painting videos. And you can get access to any of my battle reports as well. There is a couple of battle reports on there that's exclusive. And there is more coming. That's going to be just purely for that website. Well, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>